Kashmi. Kashmi is here. Really? Where did you see her? There she is. Kashmi is like almost the one to like answer hi. Yeah, no. She's the first one to say hello. Let's yeah, see who else is there. From hi. the last class and this class. Is it? Hi, Neera. And who is this? Hi, Arab. This is Arab. And this is Arab's mama. My name is Preeti. We welcome you to our channel. If you are our friend already, please say hello to us in the comment section. Hi, and if you Nira. are new here, make sure you say hello so that we know who you are. Hi, Nirav. Nirav is here. Kashvi is Hi, here. Hi, Anirudh. Anirudh is also here. Hi, Anirudh. Hi, Ria. Ria is here. Hi, Ria. Arab, what's there in your story hat today? Nothing probably. Nothing probably? Are, are you saying we have zero story today? Yeah. Then what are we going to tell our all our friends? Nothing? Agra Dabra Salaka Masala Wala Pala Wala. Woohoo! There's a story in the magic and, hat. Yes, and the story is about something very, very pure. Ooh, what? Somebody who guess. is very, very pure. The cleverest. Thief. Hey, Sindhu. Thief yeah. is not pure. Is yeah. that right? Thief is not no, pure. No, the story is the title is The Cleverest Thief. But the story is about a monk. In fact, a lot of monks. Guys, do you have you ever met monks in your life? Arab, have you ever met a monk in your life? Hi, Arab. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hi, Arab's, Arab's best friend is here. Okay. Uh -huh. So, guys, have you ever met a monk in your life? No, never. You have met a Jain monk, Arav. Who is that? Monks? Oh, let me tell you. I forgot to tell you who monks are, right? So monks are people who have dedicated all of their lives or a part of their lives to a religion. And let me tell you how else you can know that who all are monks. Some fun facts about monks, okay? First, they believe in non-possession. For example, Arav, how many pair of clothes do you have? Ten. Sindhu, how many pair of clothes do you have? Ar Ariman, can you tell me how many pair of shoes you have? You have a wardrobe full of clothes, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Neera, Anirudh, you have a wardrobe full of clothes and a shoe rack full of shoes, right? Hmm? But do you know how many clothes the monks have? How many? Just two pairs. One they wear and they wash it. When it dries, they wear the other one. Just two pair of clothes and one pair of shoes. Other than the clothes and shoes, they do not possess anything. They have no money. They have no toys. Nothing. What, what, is, is it very difficult to live like that without having anything at all? No money, no toys, no excessive clothes, no uh, food, nothing. I was in Raipur and then I met some young children who were monks. Young children who were monks? Yeah. So monks usually, they believe in non possession they do not possess anything they do Post. not believe in collecting things they do not have clothes excess clothes only two pair of clothes they do not have toys they do not have any food they do not have any money tough life isn't it yeah but why why don't they why do they do this on purpose why do they do this on purpose they choose to be monks they choose to live simple life and spiritual life and you know you know what do they do for food because they do not have any food. How will they eat food? They beg for food. Most of the monks. And they, they have to rely on the generosity of other people to offer them food. So can they choose what to eat? Like Arav decided he want to have some banana cupcakes today. Can the monks choose to have banana cupcakes? No. They eat whatever people offer them. If people don't offer them anything, they go like empty stomach. They do not eat anything. Mm. Tough life, isn't it? I met some monks. At one time, it was my mom's birthday and some monks came. They wanted food. We told them 30 minutes. So they came again. They started buying a lot. And awesome. one of my family said, Okay, fine. Take this. But don't tell anybody else. They took, yeah, a cake. Because that yeah, type of a wedding was going on. And then they passed the cake and the monks quickly. I don't remember this story that Arav is telling you. But, but now you know that the monks, they do not make their own food. They rely on other people to offer them food. Tough life. Other than that, do you know another mm. special thing about monks? What? Like you are my family, right? You are my son. Yeah. The monks, 
they cannot start a family once they become a monk they cannot get married or they cannot have or they can have children they cannot do all those things why no marriage no children but why that's how the life of monk is pretty tough isn't it that's why they are very very pure people they are very very spiritual people they are supposed to do all the good things so let's go into the story and let's find out what is a thief doing amongst all the monks are you ready to meet the thief yeah let's go right into the story Ooh. here we are this book is written by t v patma and the beautiful pictures are by mr hofmeier let's go many years ago in a buddhist monastery like a temple there lived a great monk for more than half of his 100 years he had guided the other monks helping them lead lives of peace and service so how old is our monk more than 100 years that is possible but that is possible a lot of people live for more than 100 years very few people actually not a lot of people so one day the great monk fell ill he had to choose someone to take his place as leader of the monastery he thought about each monk in his monastery but he could not decide which monk to choose as the leader after him because he loved all the monks and he was not able to choose a leader so after a night of deep meditation with closed eyes focusing on his breath the whole night and meditating the leader opened his eyes and he called all the monks in the monastery to gather around him he told them for many years we have lived and worked together as you have learned the teachings of the buddha soon i will leave this world behind and one of you must take my place as a leader so what what did he say soon he is going to have to die and then leave this world and one of you must take my place as leader as a leader and then he said i could not choose amongst you so i have a test to help me pick the next leader are are you fond of tests when you have tests in school all the children do you like tests in school or you get like scared when you have tests i Test. Aro hates test, but Aro prepares for his spelling test, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Do you like tests? Tell us in the comment section. We want to hear from you if you like tests or if you also hate tests like Aro do. So let's go back to the story. Let's find out what is the test that the leader is going to hmm. announce. He said tonight. I want each of you to steal something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I hear correctly? Yeah. He's asking each of the monks to steal something. What kind of test is that? I never had that kind of test. Nobody asked me to steal something for a test. What about you? Yeah. What about you? This is a strange test. So the old monk the leader he continued i want each of you to steal something but there is a condition you must steal it so gently that no one will know who stole the item or how it was stolen so there are two conditions what are the two conditions you must not let anybody know who stole the item or how it was stolen how it was stolen let's find out what happens will anybody pass in this test i'm not sure so the leader said think 
carefully over what I'm saying and all that I have taught you. So think about both the things. What I'm saying now, what are you doing? And what I have taught you. The cleverest thief will take my place as the leader of this monastery. Would you be able to do such a crime, such a theft, Ara, where nobody should know what you stole or how you stole it? I, can you do such a crime, such a theft? No. Would you be clever enough to do it? Maybe. Would, can you do it? Do you want to be the leader of the monastery? Let's find out what did the monks do. The monks were <gasps> surprised. But each of the monks wanted to become the next leader. So they did not question the old monk, the leader. Why are you asking us to steal something? Did anybody ask him? No. Nobody. The monks began thinking about their task. All except one monk named Dhamika. Dhamika asked softly, How can you ask us to steal, wise one? He is questioning his guru, no. isn't it? No. The other monks cast disapproving looks at him. How dare he question the guru? How dare he question the leader? But the leader was not angry. Instead, the leader said again very clearly, I'm asking you to steal so that no one can name the thief. Do you understand, Dhamika? I'm asking you to steal so that no one can name the thief. Think about it, Dhamika. That evening, there was a strange feeling in the monastery. The monks kept a close watch on each other. They wanted to make sure that nobody was stealing anything around the monastery. Soon, some of the monks left for town. I have, don't do that. Soon, some of the monks left for town, not to beg for an evening meal like they used to. Every day in the evening, they used to go out to beg for an evening meal so that they could eat something. But this evening, they were not going to the town to beg for evening meal, but to steal. steal. Stealing was their mission tonight. It was a restless night. One of the monks slipped a necklace right off the neck of a wealthy woman. Another monk stole a single grain of rice from a stall in the bazaar. At dawn, when the sun was ab about to appear in the sky, the birds seemed to twitter with excitement because they also wanted, hmm, they also wanted to find out who will be the next monk. The monks gathered around the leader carrying their stolen items with pride that they managed to steal something without anybody Notice. noticing it. All of the monks stole something except one monk. Do you know who is he? Dhamika, the one who had asked his guru that, why are you asking us to steal wise one, isn't it? He did not steal anything. He disobeyed his guru. The leader looked around and his eyes were sad. So when we are sad, our shoulders droop and our face droop and we look very sad. Then he asked everybody, has each one of you stolen something? No, said Dhamika. I have brought you nothing, Guruji. Why do you think Dhamika did not steal anything, Arav? Because that's a bad thing. That's, but the Guruji has told to steal, isn't it? Yeah. So let's find out. Waiting to impress the leader, one monk spoke up. I stole a grain of rice, so it was not missed by anyone. Do we ever count the grain of rice in our home? Like how many grains of rice we have? Would yeah. we even notice if a grain of rice goes missing? No, right? So that's what he said proudly. 
Now I stole a grain of rice. It's not missed by anyone. Nobody knows who stole it or how it was stolen. The other monk said, I stole a necklace so quietly that the old lady did not feel it slipping off her neck. She will think it fell off on its own when she sees that the necklace is Gone. missing. They were all very proudly telling the leader the things that they had stolen and how nobody noticed that the things were already stolen, right? They did their jobs good, isn't it? Show me a thumbs up if you think they did their jobs well. Everybody, show me a thumbs up in the comment section. Thumbs up, Ara. Do you think they did their job well? No. No? Thumbs down. Why? Let's find out. The monks waved their stolen goods to each other. With excitement, they were shouting and telling their stories. The leader raised his hand for silence. He said, silence. Dhamika, why are you empty-handed? Asked the leader. Sir, all night I thought of your instructions. I also thought of all that you have taught us over the years, answered Dhamika. You have told us to live life without harming others, to defeat our greed and to act with wisdom. Stealing did not seem right, not even if the prize was to be the new leader, said Dhamika. So I began to think deeply about your words. You told us to steal so that no one could name the thief. This is impossible, said Dhamika. Can anybody tell me why is this impossible? That's because the police will of course find out. Police will find out? Yeah. I don't think so. One grain of missing rice. How will the police find out? Yeah, but what about the necklace? What about the, the necklace? Police might, might find out. But how about one grain of rice? Nobody would even notice that it is missing. Mm, then yeah. why did Dhamika say that it is impossible that no one could name the thief? Think about it. I am not so sure. Ara is not so sure. He said, even if I lied to everyone, I could never keep my actions a secret from my own self. I would be the thief and I would always know it. So somebody knows. Who is that person? Dhamika. Dhamika himself would know, right? Hmm. So somebody would know. That's why Dhamika said, it is impossible that when you do something immoral, something criminal, or you steal something, nobody would know. One person would always know. However small the thing is. And who is that person? Who will know when you steal something, Ara? The police. Not police, yourself. You would know, right? Yeah. That you have stolen. So who is that person who would always know when you steal something? Yourself. Yeah, yourself. The monks nodded in agreement. They saw the truth in Dhamika's words. The leader smiled. He was not sad anymore. And the leader said, yes, you may hide your actions from the world, but you can never hide your actions from your own self. From your own self. Isn't it true? Mm -hmm. We may lie to our parents sometime, right? I may lie, lie to Arab sometimes. Arab may lie to me sometimes. But can we lie to ourselves? We know what is the truth, right? Isn't it? Mm -hmm. The leader turned to Dhamika and said, You alone stay true to yourself and to my teachings. You will be the next leader, Dhamika. So what happens, you know, guys, when you speak the truth and when you are true to yourself, sooner or later, you will get a big reward. When you are not true to yourself, you may get a reward immediately. Like when you steal something, you may get it immediately. But the reward is not nice. It always makes us feel bad inside. But if we are being true to ourselves mm -hmm. and honest and good people, 
then we will always get a reward it might not happen immediately but sooner or later we will get the reward Hmm. and it will make us very happy what was dhamika's reward that is the quiz for today so let us know in the comment section what was dhamika's reward okay yes arav is right i hope you are right too let's read the next part of the story the great monk sighed deeply pleased with his choice he was very happy that he could find a very very able leader all the other monks they bowed to dhamika who was their new guide can we all do three cheers for dhamika hip hip hooray hip hip hooray hip hip hooray yes and that is the end of the story and dhamika always guided all his monk friends to honesty and to truth So, what did you learn from the story, Arab? And what did you learn? What did you learn from the story? I learned many things from the story, and I love this story. Hey, there's a quiz button down. Okay, Arab. So, can you tell me what did you learn from the story? I don't got the answer, right? I know there is a quiz. To get a new leader. There is a quiz in this one. Okay, he says, why did the master wants to choose someone to replace him? First, he went a stealing spree. Is that the answer? second he was ill third he wants more food or fourth he did not like his job he was ill that is correct i hope you got it right too why did dhamika not steal because he thought he would be chased by the cops because he was lazy because he wasn't very smart or because he knew stealing was wrong let us know in the comment section i hope you can whisper in my ears don't press it yet because we want the friends to also answer Right. So, why did Dhamika not steal? Let us know in the comment section. And what is the best thing you learned from this story? You know, Ara, what did I learn? No. I learned that somebody is always watching me, no matter what I do. And you know, who is that somebody? Who? My own self. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Arman got to try to be the new leader. To be the new leader is correct, Arman. And Dhamika first... tries. And let's see what does Ria say. You should not steal even when no one is looking. That's very good, Ria. Arman got it right. Four in the or uh, two yes. in the first place. And yes, Dhamika did not steal because stealing was wrong. Very good, Kashvi. You are also right. Fabulous kids. Will you remember the moral from this story, Ara? Hmm. So even when you are tempted to pick something from playground or from school, you like it very much. Just remember, somebody will always know, right? You cannot hide it, right, Ara? Sure. Thank you for joining us for story number thirty-one. Tomorrow we will see you with another fun story. Have a great Sunday. Take care of yourself. Bye bye. Ta ta. ta -ta. Bye, Ara. Bye. Bye bye. Ta ta. Ta ta.